Hello and welcome to the May 2021 monthly update for Healing Arts Health and Wellness. I'm Charlize and as always, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I try to keep a serious tone, but I'm, I'm laughing at myself because um, for it's it's been a really exciting month for Healing Arts, an exciting month for me personally. And so I rewarded myself by, you know, upgrading some of my technology and, and I'm so excited because I actually got a real, you know, microphone. So I've, you know... Um, you know, help with some of the recordings and podcasts and things. So I just uh, finished, uh, this is my second tape. I just finished taping a video and I was just, you know, so proud of myself. Oh, I did the video. It was fantastic. And uh, there's uh, there's no sound. So <laughs> it's always good to have something to, to bring you back to yourself. Anyway, um, for the monthly update, and of course I'll keep this pretty short. Um, I decided to start doing monthly updates uh, starting in April, 2021. Because I realize that uh, for many individuals, they prefer to read. Some individuals prefer to listen and some people like to watch. Um, so I thought it would be nice to create a monthly video where I can kind of round up um, everything that's gone on, everything that's been discussed. So if you are listening and there's a topic or something you're wanting to hear more of, hopefully this video will kind of speed you up in finding what you're looking for. So for the month of May, it was a very exciting month. I kicked off the month with a friend of mine being a guest on the Art of Healing podcast, Lisa Earhart. Uh, she's a life coach and she's a published author, author, and she and I discussed mindful eating. The name of her book, which is available on Kindle, is... I just lost 20 pounds, a permanent weight loss solution. So uh, Lisa was nice enough to come on the podcast with me and we discussed um, um, applying mindfulness to eating and we discussed how to, um, how to lovingly approach unwanted weight changes that occurred during the pandemic. <clears throat> I really like this because I see patients every day and I know that this has been a crisis for some people is the change in the routine, change in schedules. A lot of people had really healthy routines that centered around work, that centered around going to a location, getting a healthy meal at certain places, walking in certain places. And that was suddenly disrupted with the pandemic. And for a lot of those people, it's been very hard to manage whatever they've had unwanted, unwanted weight gain. So um, Lisa and I discuss how to approach that in kind of loving ways to think about it. So I think that's a really nice topic. Um, and that's going to be on the Heart of Art of Healing podcast. I also had another guest, and this is Brie Hernandez, and she's the owner of Soul Living Co. She's an energy healer, and she's trained in multiple modalities. She's studying psychology, and she's developing some very exciting programs, especially for people that are empaths, are working in healing or planning on working on healing. Uh, Brie and I discovered, discussed discovering your soul path. And I would definitely check out her website, soullivingco.com. Um, if you're interested in, in digging deeper, doing some deeper work, she's got a program that she's just launched that I think is really exciting. That's a it's a holistic program and you come out of it and you're certified in Reiki. That's a great deal. So um, Brie and Lisa were both guests on the Art of Healing podcast. And I covered a few other topics this month as well. But I think those guests were um, really worth having a listening if you're short of time. Art of Healing podcast, which is going to be on Google podcast, on Stitcher, as well as Apple podcast. It really should be listed on any major carrier of podcasts if you like to have a listen. If you do listen, I would appreciate if you could leave a, a review that really helps for uh, podcasters like me who are building up our audience. Any kind of feedback we get really helps a lot. So thank you so much. Um, on the blogs of uh, Healing Arts, Health and Wellness, most of the articles this month focused on Reiki and be definitely some clinical findings in Reiki and clinical studies um, because I was getting ready for a talk at the STAR conference, which was based out of Toronto, which I'm all done with. So that's really exciting as well. So if you'd like to check those out, Art of Healing, uh, sorry, the Healing Arts, Health and Wellness dot com. And the biggest uh, announcement was I published the 21 day meditation journey. 
Um, it is an ebook as well as a print book that's available on Amazon. And what I am doing is for those that sign up for my newsletter, when I'm able to do free promotions, meaning you can get a copy of the book for free, I like to let my newsletter readers know first. So if you're interested, I definitely say sign up for the newsletter and then I can notify you as soon as you're able to get a free copy of the 21 day meditation journey. It was actually so much fun to write. Um, I'm sharing some of my personal practices and the book is centered around the chakras. So it gives you a good chance to explore your own energy centers while you're meditating. And the meditations are they're brief, they're easy to do, they don't require any special setup. So that's the biggest announcement. Um, so for next month, there will be some additional guests on the Art of Healing podcast. And um, don't think there'll be any other big announcements. Uh, mostly it's going to be just with the book for this month, which I'm just, I'm so excited and pleased for. So of course, if you want to follow me on Instagram, at Charlize or at Charlize Healing Arts. Um, also, I am on Facebook, uh, Healing Arts by Charlize. And of course, healingartshealthandwellness.com is always available. Um, I know there's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of people talking. So if you're spending time with me, I do want you to know I appreciate every single person that happens through and watches. So Good luck. Thank you so much for listening. And we will be in contact by video in about a month, but you can find me online. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.